guys, and in this video, I'm gonna show you Scratch to make a Dodge the Penguins game. Um, okay, Scratchy? You're making me dizzy. Like, I have other things to do, so can you just- Wait, where is Scratchy going? And look, he's headed towards the penguin sledding hill. Oh no, will Scratchy survive or will the penguin- In this video, I'm going to show you make a penguin dodging game, where you have to control Scratchy as he dodges penguins before he gets hit. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need my penguin dodger project that has all the sprites and scripts you'll need. To start, let's drag out a one green flag click block. Now we want the cat to always be on the front layer, which means that it will be above everything else on the screen. To do this, let's go to looks and drag out, go to front layer. Let's also show the cat. Let's also set his size to 75%. Let's also set his direction to 90 degrees and go to XY for Y of negative 140, like this. There we go. Now, let's allow him to move. We need to use variables to do this, so I'm going to make a new variable and call it position. There we go. Let's start by setting position to 2. Now let's make the cat move. Drag out a forever block, and then an if-then block. We have to check two conditions for this. Let's first check to see if the left arrow key is being pressed, and that position is not equal to 1, so we don't accidentally go off the screen. Go to Operators and drag out an AND block. Then go to Sensing and drag out a key space press block. I'm going to change it to left arrow. Then drag out an Operators equals block. And then a Position block. And then 1. That happens. So let's change the position by negative 1. And in Motion, drag out a Change X by negative 90 block. Now when we press the left arrow key, the cat. Okay, guys, we have a bug here, and I need your help finding it. Well, technically, I do know what it is, but I still need your help finding it. What's the bug? Well, it turns out the bug happens to do with this and block position equals 1. We don't want the position to equal 1, so we have to use a not block instead. So go to operators and drag out a not block. Now, we can drag out position equals 1 in here. There we go. Now the cat can move to the left. The animation's kind of, um, super fast, so let's add the animation to go a bit slower. In Control, drag out a repeat 10 block, and I'm going to change this to 5. Then drag out this and change it to negative 18. There we go. Now the animation's a lot smoother. Let's duplicate this, change it to right arrow, this to 3 this to 1, and this to 18. When that's done, you have this one big script that allows the cat to move in both directions. Let's go! The game's kind of boring, so we need to have some penguins that chase the cat. Go to penguin, and then drag out a forever block. We're going to use clones here, so let's hide this sprite. And then let's have it go to 0 and 280. Let's also point in the direction 90, and let's change its size to 75%. Now, let's wait two seconds for the game to start before we start adding clones of the penguin. Then drag out a forever block. Let's wait a period of seconds between 0 0.5 and 1.5. So pick random, 0 0.5 and 1.5. Then let's create a clone. Go to control and then create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, let's do these three things first. So I'm going to duplicate it and place it right here. Now we also want to change this X and Y to be either here, here, or here at random. To do this, we're going to have to go to operators and drag out a plus block. I'm going to change this to negative 180. Then we need to multiply 90 by a random number between 1 and 3. There we go. 
And finally, let's show the penguin. Now when we click the green flag, the penguin will eventually appear at the top of the screen, like this. Let's have the penguins move now. Go to control and drag out a forever block. Then in motion, drag out a change Y by negative 10 block. Now if the penguin reaches the edge, its Y will be less than a certain number. So go to operators and drag out this greater than block. So go to motion and then choose Y position. Then choose this and select it to be negative 205. I had to experiment a little bit to get this number. If you choose too great of a number, the penguins will start piling up on top of each other at the bottom of the screen. But if you choose too little of a number, then the penguins will cut in halfway through the screen or not give such of a fancy animation. Now when you click the green flag, the penguins will immediately rush at you. And it turns out a penguin pile up just happened. Oh yeah, I forgot to delete this clone. Now the penguins don't show. I think I made a mistake by accidentally mixing these two numbers up. There we go. Wait, the cat shows the hit costume, even though it hasn't been hit yet. And while we're at it, let's also allow the cat to sense if a penguin's touching them. Let's go to looks and drag out the switch costume, the costume A2, and I'm gonna select A3 because that's the one that has the regular cat. There we go. Now, let's allow the cat to sense if a penguin has touched them. Drag out the when green flag clicked block, and then a forever block. Drag out an if block, and if we are touching a penguin, we should broadcast a new message saying game over. Now, let's go to this game over sprite, and then let's add a when green flight click block, and then let's hide this sprite right now. Switch the costume to costume 1. Now, when we receive this message, we should stop everything else in the program, so we're going to make a new broadcast called stop. When we receive stop, we should stop all the other scripts in this sprite, but not everything else. So drag out a stop all block and choose it to be other scripts in this sprite. Drag it to the cat, the penguin, and the backdrops. And you can delete it. When you broadcast stop, we should have play sound meow to until done. Then let's show the sprite. Let's also play the sound lose. There we go. Now, if the cat touches a penguin, it's game over. Let's also add some background music. Go to the backdrop and drag out a when green flag clicked. Then a forever block. Then in sounds, drag out a play sound boom until done. Now we have some good music playing in the background. When the cat collides, it should show its X sprite. So go here and drag out a looks. Switch costume to costume A2 block. <laughs> this animation looks hilarious if a penguin hits the cat head on. scores and high scores. Drag out a when green flag clicked block in events. And then let's start with score. Go to sensing and drag out reset timer. Our score will be based upon a timer. Then let's create a new variable and call it score. Drag out a forever block. And then in variables, drag out a set score to let's round a hundred times the timer. Let's also set this to a large readout and drag it right here. Now 
we have a score. Let's have the cat speed increase as we go along. Start by going to operators and drag out an abs of block. Change this to floor. Then drag out a divided by block. Let's set this to be the score divided by 500. Let's also add this all to 10. So drag out a plus block, drag it in here, and add it to 10. We also have to multiply this by negative 1, 2. This is a pretty large block, but now the penguins will get faster depending on how far you go. Let's also create a high score that will allow anybody who plays your project to change it. This will require cloud variables, which are stored on the Scratch server. Note that you cannot use this if you are a new Scratcher, and you will have to promote the Scratcher by scratching a lot more. Let's start by creating a new variable and call it high score, and select cloud. Now, drag out an if then block, and then in operators, let's sense if score is greater than high score. If so, let's set high score to score. Let's also change this to large readout. Now, the high score will change along with the score. Finally, let's create an announcement when the player has reached the highest score. Go to the game over sprite, and then drag out an if then block. If score equals high score, Then let's change the costume to costume 2 and play the ta-da sound. Note that if you tie for the highest score but do not beat it, this sound will still play. The planet of math fairies, fairies, fairies. This will happen rarely though because the score constantly changes. Now if you happen to beat the high score, you get a little announcement. Clean up all the blocks. And then we're done. If you had any trouble on this project, you can check the finalized project, which you can find on my Scratch account or in the description below. If I also make any mistakes, I will make sure to describe them in the description too. Once you've done all of that though, make sure to have fun, try to beat the highest score. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own projects, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.